It's going to be fun, you know, the, the transition between high school and college is already enough, but you know, I play guard this year, so at least I'm a little bit more familiar with it. Um, guard, you know, just be more strong on the side and be able to move people around. If the tackle, it's more finesse, so. Is there good. a kinship with Coach Studd already? Yeah, Coach Studd's a great guy. You know, he's from uh, Foster Area, St. Wendelin. You know, and he's just, like, every time I talk to him, we hit it off great. So it's, he's a great guy, great coach. Looking forward to playing for him. Did that move take you by surprise much? Uh, yeah, a little bit. But in the end, you know, I, you, I guess you can kind of sense that they want to be able to move, uh, use their offense the way they want to. And if it's with Coach Warner being able to be in the box, you know, instead of the field, that's what that has to happen. So I mean, it's good for the program, it's good for me. Malcolm Porridge just faxed in his letter of intent as well. So it looks that, like Ohio State's going to be the number one or number two overall recruiting class. Is that the offensive lineman? Yeah. That's okay. Five star Juca. So that, that offensive lineman class you're going in with, going in with is getting bigger and better. Yes, it's great. You know, I already met most of the guys. Can't wait to meet this guy. You know, all the guys right now, and we have a great connection as of right now. And I can't wait to actually be on campus with them. What's it like to be part of a class that is so highly touted, not just? For the Big Ten, but we're talking about the number one class in the nation. It's pretty cool, uh, you know. Like I said, you know, the guys are even greater, so that makes it even special, more special. You know, full of talent and a bunch of great guys, since it makes that class even more special. Is there a chip on your shoulder? Oh, definitely. You know, coming from Division Seven, you know, Olympic High School, you know, you always had to prove yourself, and you know, I knew that since my sophomore year, when I started getting recruited, and that's just what it is. I can't wait to, you know, you know, show myself even more when I get down there. That picture with you and Trussell, how old is that? I was in fifth grade. I was going to the fifth grade, going to the summer of my fifth grade year. That was a fun time. So obviously, I mean, you're Gavin Hayes Cup. Yeah. You've wanted to be a Buckeye your entire life. Mm -hmm. Ten years ago, you wanted to be a Buckeye, now finally you are. It's great. You know, I, I was writing something up earlier on my Twitter. I ended up tweeting it, but it was like, you know, every day, every signing day, I was looking forward to, you know, I was always sitting on the couch just watching. You know, I couldn't believe this was happening. You know, how cool it would be to be in one of those positions where I was signed with a major, you know, Division One program. And now that I'm here, it's pretty, it's a pretty great feeling. You know, for like, you to watch it every day to just now. What was your favorite signing day thing that you did? If you oh, you know, I just, I remember watching. Uh, there's an Oklahoma State, and the guy put on one of those big old, like, oversized orange cowboy hats. I thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> I had my Bruce head on back there, just waiting for the right time for that. So. <laughs> Anybody else? What have you been doing since the end of year, high school season? Uh, just working, just working on my craft, working on the weight room and all the stuff that goes with it. Right now, I just signed, so I get to get a weight program from Coach Mirardi. So I can't wait for that. <laughs> it's it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, how guys, is the program to get ready for the next level and, and to transition from outside to inside? Um, you know, it's, it's just, like I said earlier, it's just kind of the same as just going from high school to college level. Um, it's you know, just a lot of work. and just, I'm not really switching positions. I play guard here uh, my senior year, so just a little bit more familiarity with it and just improving my strengths and game. Will it be difficult to get into that slob mentality? Oh, no, that's a great guy. No, I'm. I know a bunch of guys already. You know, me and Billy Price are pretty cool. You know, I was after I camped at Friday Night Lights. Me and the connection between me and him became, you know, really what it is now. And on my official, I was hanging out with Matt Burrow and Brandon Bowden, Kevin Feeder, Bill Price. So it was just a lot of those guys. So it'll be, a lot, it'll be good. Hey, Gavin, everyone, I think your story is kind of not really a, a big secret anymore. Yes. Yeah. Was you've been committed for a while now, obviously. But is, it, is there a sense of relief or anything today? That finally, actually. Made this yeah, you know, I, if anybody knows what a verbal offer actually is, it's me. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> I'm just glad I get it on pen, pen and paper, and it's official now. You know, it's just a lot of weight off my shoulders, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Were you, when you were signing and stuff, were you thinking back to this whole process that you've been through at all? Did any of that stuff run through your mind? It or? did. Like, throughout the week, it's kind of had, you know, as the date's been getting closer and closer, it's been a lot of reminiscing on all the you know, programs that uh, got in contact with me, all the visits I took, all the people I got to meet, and all the people that came to school. So it's just been a lot of fun thinking about it. And, you know, I was talking with my uh, head coach right now and talking about all the people I got to come and some of the cool people I got to come, you know. So that's just been pretty, that's been pretty special. I mean, you're a pretty down-to-earth guy. Was, was that summer difficult? How difficult was that summer? I didn't talk to really anybody. <laughs> I didn't really talk to anybody that week. You know, if anybody <laughs> you guys try to get a hold of me that week, I probably declined it. Um, so it, it's, it's all good, though. You know, it's I built a bridge a while ago, and I just signed to Ohio State. So, you know, it all worked out in the end. And I'm getting to play for the school of my dreams.